You know, one thing that'll either make or break a small gig is the tip jar. You know, people like to give tips and you gotta give past the thing of, well, oh, I, I don't deserve it or anything like that. You, you gotta get rid of that. But if you wanna get the most amount of tips, I think I have a magic formula for you. Ah, it's not really magic at all. But here's what I've discovered and it seems to work. Number one, when you set up, uh, if possible, you want to have the tip jar in the vicinity of where people are going to walk on their way out. Okay, that's important. So I think about that when, when I'm playing some places, like where is the foot traffic here? And uh, so you want to set up where there's foot traffic. Number two, you want to have a tip jar that they can see. Now look at this. This is just a simple orange juice thing, and it's got a lid. It's an orange juice, uh, but it's an unusual shape, and it's big. So one way that people can see it, remember, sometimes it gets get dark, and that is to put in, whoops, a little light. Oops, that one didn't light. But here's my favorite lights. Check this out. Now you don't want a big neon sign, right? That says, here, tips here, tips here. But th that's a pretty little, it's inviting, right? It's not too bad. Now, here, here's another one that works well. It's like a big martini glass. And it's plastic, so you can carry it with you and it doesn't break. But it's unusual. So this is unusual. This is unusual. Okay, you want an unusual looking tip jar. Now, the other thing is you have to prime it correctly. Now, one thing I found is if you just put in a couple bucks, that's all you'll get. Now, you do want to have a a couple dollars in there, and that's for the people that walk by and say, oh, well, gee, I can, I can afford a couple bucks. And then you want to have a five in there. And you just kind of stick that in there. The rattier looking, the better. Okay, wow, so, okay, somebody gave a five. Well, shoot, I can give a five. And then you put the 10 in there. <laughs> now, this might be presumptuous, right, again, but I think having a 10 in there, people look at that and they'll say, well, wait a minute, somebody gave a 10? Well, hell, I'll give a 20. All right, so there's your primer, okay? You've got your denominations in order there. Believe it or not, it works. Now, I don't like to put a 20 in there. Now, some people do. But the reason is, I think it's a little presumptuous. I've gone to um, clubs and I've just seen a $20 bill in somebody's tip jar. And I thought, well, they probably started that night with that. And they're going to end the night with it. All right. So, but the tip jar is probably going to be a reflection of the songs you play and the mood you set. So you want people to be able to express their appreciation and what a better way than getting a, a tip jar filled up. Now, you know, nowadays it's tough for musicians to make a living, okay? It's it, darn near impossible. So any little bit you can get from people, it's greatly appreciated, okay? So when you're out there gigging, you're probably not making, you're, you, let me put it this way, you're probably making the same money you did 40 years ago, okay, 30 years ago. And inflation has set in. So have your tip jar inviting where they can see it and they know what it is. That's really important. I don't know how many times I've seen people say, oh, I didn't, uh, I didn't see a tip jar or you, you know, the wife will nudge uh, the guy on the way out and he says, you should put a tip in the tip jar. And he says, what tip jar? I don't see a tip jar. What? What? And then, you know, it's there. 
So you want to make sure that they can see it, have it be unusual. So it's like, oh, <laughs> look at that big martini. I'd like to have one of those. So it'll make the difference between a $75 gig and a $150 gig, okay? So get your tip jar in order. I hope this helps you. Hi, Rich here again. I just wanted to say thanks for watching. And if you liked it, hit the thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so you can see all the guitar videos I put out each week. If you want more lessons right now, I have hundreds of them at guitarcollegelibrary.com. And if you want to learn jazz, hey, check out my course, Jazz Guitar Improv. You'll see the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you soon.